Hello, my name is Kierlist. I am the inventor and the creator of the iPro Hero, the GoPro for your iPhone 5. Um, I am using the CTC 3D printer to print the iPro Hero. I started many project with the iPro Hero. I printed lots of cases and the CTC dual extruder 3D printer helped me to realize this project. I will show you how easy and practical and how compatible this printer is. For rapid prototyping you may have seen many of MakerBot videos for rapid prototyping or other videos and today I want to show you how to easily and cheap rapid prototype things you have ever imagined or things you want to create. I will now give you some video examples and instructions so here we are. We start with a 3D printer. This is a CTC 3D dual extruder printer and it's similar to the MakerBot first generation replicator. Um, this printer has a PLA upgrade with two fans in front of the extruder. At the moment they aren't used but I normally use them if I print more complicated structures they are recommend. So now the print is finished and I printed for the iPro Hero the clip which holds the front plate and the case together. It prevents your iPhone to fall out during riding your bike or motorcycle or on a ski tour or something like that. Um, yes, you can see it here. It took about 40 minutes and the quality of the clip is 0.3 millimeters and I'd say it is very fine. For prototyping like this it is very good. Um, so um, the iPro Hero was one project for me because I can't afford a normal GoPro. I thought about using my iPhone 5 as a GoPro. So I uh, started SolidWorks. I used SolidWorks 2015 and I downloaded a standard or a stock iPhone 5 case and modified it. Um, I made holders and things like that for a mount at a ski helmet or motorcycle helmet and things like that. I made lots of tests, crash tests and things like that. I think I wrecked almost seven cases only for falling tests and it was easy with this printer because it is fast, it is it has a good quality and it is cheap. This printer here, this CTC 3D printer in black painted on factory costs about 570 euros. It's about 650 660 dollars and it was factory new and it has the quality of the MakerBot first generation replicator and the finest quality 0.1 millimeter which is really fine you have very great results with it and I'm very impressed what this printer can do so I'm going to start up a new print I'm going to try this clip and we see later on the computer desktop. 
So now we are at my desktop. I started up SolidWorks 2015 and here you can see the clip I printed a few moments ago and I just want to show you how easy it is with this printer and SolidWorks to create great things like the iPro Hero. I um, will give some photos at the end of the videos of the first prototypes of the iPro Hero <coughs> and I will give you some introduction here. So Pro Hero. Yeah this is my folder with all the files for the iPro Hero. We got the mounting for my ski helmet. This is optimized for my ski helmet. The iPro Hero case and this is the iPro Hero case but it has no it is not signed. It had it has no letters on it. This is the uh yeah, this two three files are the front plate which prevent the iPhone 5 to fall out in case if you fall or the iPro Hero falls down or something like that. And uh these are the clips which secure the front the yes front plate to open. Um, I start up with the iPro Hero case because it's not modified anymore. It it's not the final version. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it work now? I fix that in a minute. So now it will work and uh, we drag the file into SOLIDWORKS uh, Yes, and here you can see the iPro Hero This is not the final design The uh, the case without letters is the final design One time the printer perfectly printed uh, these letters But the most time it didn't work really well So. I decided to print it without letters, but with letters it would be much more cooler. S so here is the mount for the helmet. This will be mounted to the mounting plate. Here it's a uh, case and I made the walls a bit thicker. I think I made them two millimeters thicker then here you have the a hole for your volume buttons, a hole for your sleep button, a bigger hole for your camera and a hole for charging. There are no holes for the microphone or for the speakers. So and this little thing is a secure part. Here a little a string go through and will be mounted at the arm or at the helmet so if you fall and if this here these two parts break it will secure your your iPhone so if you fall it your case won't be four f five meters away from you on the snow for example it will be right at your side so this but this is not the final version and close that no. and this is without the letters here yeah, you can see some differences here is no no letters and we got two mounts at one side more these two mounts are made for the front plate <coughs> which prevent or well, it's a security it's additional security part here you uh, here you can see I have some secures for the iPhone to not fall out, and there it is for the plate. There goes plate over which you can clip or flip. So yes, this is the final version. I already printed this. Yes, it fits very good. It fits 100%. So the next part is this um, front plate. 
here you can see the front plate it has some stabilizations here at the clips but at my version my really my latest version these clips aren't I removed these clips so basically I can do this in this video Got a So, and now I can go to here. This side. Oh, I see it now. But this can be fixed very easily. So, yep. The clips are removed, and now we have these flying things here. Now we just head. And they are gone. So now we have the uh, yes, stock plate and empty plate. And this will be printed, it's very easy. And I'm gonna save that and this an STL2. You may wonder why these the yes the names are in another language, I'm German. So maybe you can hear that my accent. I'm sorry for that. Um, okay, going gonna go to pre last file. This is the clip. The Come on, here. The clip is very easy. It is sixty-five. Yeah, sixty-five millimeters wide and 14 millimeters high and this is yeah, easy an easy clip yeah which you can drag over the case so and the last part is the mounting for my ski helmet it is a very simple part too and yes this is this thing comes on the helmet with this curve and these three uh, things go on the mounting on the on the case and Yes, they are mounted with a normal screw you are using on your 3D printer and all in all it's very easy to use. It takes some time to print all things and it took me some time to create all things but I think it was worth it. I won't sell this case because it's a little bit complicated for me and but I uploaded this case on Thingiverse and it is not the latest version I will upgrade or yes I will upgrade the files and then you can download this thing on Thingiverse if you want to have the iPro Hero 2 it's fully free but I have the copyright you not allowed to sell this case it is, this is my construction and I have to write for the copyright for it yes that's it. I will give a little printing video at the end for the new clips. Oh, no, for the new backplate. And I will give the prototyping photos at the end of the videos. So that it. that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment and please leave a like. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel and i will make another video or another videos so yes that's it so now we're gonna go and start up the print this is the front plate we modified a few moments ago and it says it print time will be 55 minutes and the material use will be about 18 grams so let's see how it works so now the print starts the PLA cooling fans are off 
because if they are on you can't hear me on the video anymore yeah. the white thing on the plate is blue I don't know why but it uh, kept on tape feel a only sticks here with the glue and you can see here the first test strip already popped off the platform and you can see the red the red things of the here's of the on the object the whole board is not too bad look from above Okay, and you can let me see the single layers of prints. It took me a lot of time to calibrate this printer perfectly. It's not perfect, but almost perfect. I recognize that this cooling fan is red. Um, this fan was broken and I printed new plates for it. Yeah. So that's it for the first time. I maybe will show the last moments of the print. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. And I think I said it before, but please leave a like, a sub, and a comment if you want. So that's it.